Gehraya. 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 Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow me on Instagram. It's alive and well. His is tonal. Are yours pierced? Would you ever pierce your nipples? My dad and my brothers are. Your dad has his nipples well, pierced? It's a, it was an old surfer thing back in the day. Good for him. For surfers to... Does he still wear stuff in there? Yep. <laughs> nice. And my brother has one. You should, oh, you should have a shirt that says my dad's nips are pierced. <laughs> Anyways. Today we're doing a movie review. Of the film that just came out, I'm sure none of you know, no. uh, called The Deep. Is that what it is? Or The Depths. Yeah, that's no. what the translation is. is, that is the, translation right? is? The, 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 the Deep of the Depths. Geharaya. 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 <laughs> it's becoming more Yiddish. Geharaya. <laughs> is Yiddish just. The Jews you know? don't do this, this is Italian. There's a lot of Italian Jews. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> You're looking at one. <laughs> Um, anyways, <laughs> I don't know, it's off the rails already. Oh, man. But yeah, we're doing the uh, a movie review of the 2022 film. Gehera. Yeah. Um, it just came out on Amazon. Uh, directed by. Uh, directed by, forgive the n mispronunciation, please, Shakun Batra. Uh, he also wrote, wrote it. Wrote it with a couple of other people who were the it. writers, and he was. Then the, Shakun is the is the producer. He's with, a, well, um, a bunch of people, yep. including Kieran Johar. Yep, which, yep. <laughs> I do love hearing that uh, sound effect of... I, um, the uh, opening of Dharma. Dharma? Yeah. <laughs> I got just real happy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Anyways, but starring just a couple people. Uh, you want MC to read, Shit! Want to read those names? Um, yes, Deepika Paragon, mm -hmm. uh, Sirran Charavedi, uh, Nanya Pandi, Nasseridin Shah, spoiler alert if you didn't know that, uh, Daria Karwa, and Rajat Kapoor. Yeah, those are the main leads. So obviously, this is a big ensemble I, I piece. I think by now others would, would, would know this by now, but for, for many who didn't know that it was and you've watched it, it was a pleasant surprise to see the legend yeah. Nasseridin Shah. When he showed up, I was like, yo, he's the father! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was like, dang, dead for dead! Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, this is new. Um, so we'll do a little non-spoiler review, yeah. in case you haven't watched it. It's on Amazon, though, so it'd be an easy watch if you want to go watch it. Uh, but we'll do a little non-spoiler review. There's a lot going on in this film, so yeah. it's, it's going to be hard Lots to not about. talk about all the spoilers. Yep. But we'll give you a little non-spoiler, and then we'll head into the spoiler section yep. for you. So, Rick, your initial non-spoiler thoughts. Initial non-spoiler thoughts. This is our 10th film of the year, our 135th Hindi film of all time, and 217th film of all time. Oh, wow. So here's the question. Yes. In what is becoming an increasingly crowded OTT platform world full of really high quality content, was Amazon, Topeka, and team able to put together a movie that lived up to the hype, lived up to the quality of the trailer, lived up to our high expectations, and is it deserving of your time and attention? Yep. With, <laughs> with, 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 with Topeka being her usually fantastic self and quite frankly brave, if you know anything about some of her own personal struggles she's shared with out in the open, and MC Ship showing us he can be a quality leading man opposite someone of her caliber, Gehirahia is absolutely deserving of your watching it and doing so with others. Uh, when Drani and I watched it with our landlady, who's also from India, and all three of us loved it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I enjoyed it as well. Um, I'm shocked, though, that I've heard a lot of people... It boggles my mind. ...did not enjoy this What's film. What's the matter? Come on. And so we're not going to into spoilers yet. We will get into spoilers, and I'll talk a little bit about why I think that is. Um, yeah, I've read a couple of them, yeah. and Johnny read a couple of me, and I'm it like, just, I can't wait to go and help I, I justice, just, justice for I the I don't Pika understand. I think team. this is a... It's not a perfect film. I do no. think there are flaws. But the, the the fact that some people are just like, this is a bad film, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you uh, just watched. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Good. Uh, but anyways. You know what? I, and I have ideas. Yeah. And we, we, we'll get into it with the spoilers. So before we do that, which, by the way, speaking of spoilers, I've said it before. I'll, I'll say it again until my grave. I, critics, you aren't storytellers. Mm -hmm. Stop telling stories in your reviews, in your critiques. Storytelling is meant for the storytellers who make the films. When you review a film, if you're gonna share spoilers, put a disclaimer. Too many of you tell the story of the film before you tell us what you thought about it, and therefore, 
why would anyone need to watch the film? Because you just told it to them in a narrative in your paragraph in your in yeah. your review. So please don't do that. But overall, because like I said, there's a lot going on in this film. This, yeah. this is a highly complex, highly leveled film of, Which of, of just a bunch of stuff going on. Took me by surprise. Yeah. Um, but so we'll do a little non spoiler and then we'll get in. But yeah. everything is, I think, top notch from Agreed. the acting. Yep. Uh, we'll get into more of that from Topeka yep. to. <laughs> this is no shock. Nasserdin Shaw is good. What a surprise. He's very good. What a surprise. He reminded me a lot of um, the dad in um, Call Me By Your Name. Remember how we raved? And he won yeah. the Oscar that year. Yeah. But I mean, I know you didn't like that film as much as I did. No, but, uh, but the, the but acting is spectacular. But especially by the dad. Yeah. Who obviously at the end gives that incredible scene. Incredible I think it was very similar. Uh, uh, that's a good compare. I didn't think about that, um, but that's a fair comparison man, of he, the caliber. <laughs> yeah, he's just like in the Deborah, but even more so. Like <laughs> he just comes on, and it was already a high elevated artistry, and then he just kind of like, you shouldn't be able to be that good, you know, to like take something that I think was already a really good film, and then be like, you want to see something better? <laughs> <laughs> and he's that good. I agree. But if him, um, I don't want to say MC Shaw. I want to call him. I by know. Exactly. Call him by his real name. Um, uh, uh, Sidant Chakravetti. Yeah, I thought he did. Really well. He probably had the most complex role. And I, in the I actually, film. without giving anything away here, in the first half of the film, I was a little bit concerned. Mm. I felt the same way I did with. Uh, didn't talk about this anywhere yet, but in West Side Story, the remake with Spielberg, mm. Indrani and I really love the girls who both play Maria and Anita yeah. a lot, and I'm so happy that Anita, the, the actress, is nominated. And I felt like it was a really stellar d debut for the actress who plays Maria, and I felt like she was overpowering. Mm. Tony, yeah. and that he he didn't have the depth and the emotion. I was concerned at first, and he was I gonna match Topeka. Yeah, I was concerned because mm. because he was very he was very low key, and there wasn't a lot going on there. And I thought, please let this be a choice. It's written as a character. Please let the second half. We're gonna see. No spoilers. Yeah. He did the second half. It's there. Everybody in the lead, even though some are small, like a uh, an 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 Ananya who Ananya. plays uh, Tia. Uh, I don't think we've seen her before. I don't um, recall seeing her. But I thought she did well, and uh, the guy who played... Oh, um, well, we've seen him, yeah. Rajat Kapoor. We have seen him. Yeah. Uh, but he did well, oh, and yeah. then obviously Rajat Kapoor did, he's a veteran actor. Yeah, that's... Did, of yeah, course. Exactly. But I was talking about we've the guy him. who played Topeka's first uh, love interest. Oh, who played Kyle. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, exactly. He did well. I don't think there was any, like, weak links in terms of the acting. I agree. Uh, I thought the writing was really complex. It takes a lot. I mean... I can, this film was very Western, and so maybe that's why some Indians didn't enjoy it and as I much. And I can understand where they would maybe not like it, because of that I agree. like, this is, like, a very familiar format. This is a, it was a high level, of like, this concept of um, telling a story about some infidelity and a whole bunch, it's way more than just about infidelity. And it was compared in a couple of the reviews to a Woody Allen film that I, I haven't seen, but it's an older Woody Allen film, and I don't, I don't know if it's definitively, like, plagiaristic or not, I have the vantage point of having never seen it, so I have nothing mm, to compare yeah, it to. It's very funny. We were watching it with uh, Minnie Minnie's Our Landlady, who's who's Indian, and we're about halfway through the film. No, three quarters of the way through the film. And she says, I've seen this before. And we said, no, you haven't. She says, yeah, no, I, I've seen this before. We said, no, this came out today. You haven't seen this before. <laughs> she may have seen the Woody Allen film oh, like gotcha. 20 years ago. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I thought the the writing was really complex, and if you if you have an open mind about this film, about you don't need to have a hero in a story to tell a story, I, you think you're gonna just really enjoy a complex story of, of human humans. beings, yeah. Just like if you enjoyed Made in Heaven, you will definitely enjoy this film. Absolutely, um, great. this is a, a very similar style. If it's a very great yeah. characters, everyone. If you like Made in Heaven, you would like this um, equally. It's very similar to that. I yep. think the directing is great. I yep. think it can be a little long. I think films like this probably would have been better, and it didn't drag for me. Me too. But I just felt not. like these style of films probably uh, benefit a little more from being a little shorter. Could, uh, it was one of those things where, okay, for those who have a bone to pick about the runtime, okay, yeah. but it didn't bother no, me at all. No, it didn't bother me either. The cinematography is uh, like almost Oscar worthy. Thank the, you. <laughs> the uh, thank you. The I was hoping you'd say the that. The score was uh, really, Excellent. really well, well done. Everything about this film. I and you might have hated this film. I some people have responded to our thing when we said we were going to watch it, and they said I didn't like the film. Okay, okay. but uh, we, if you know our style and what we like, if you are similar to us, I think you're really going to enjoy this film. Everything Agreed. about this film is top notch. Agreed. And I think. Yeah. All right, so we, let's spoil and talk. If about you anything. haven't watched it, go watch it. Go watch it. Please come back and then and come back, find out where you were in the runtime here, and then pick it right yes, back yes. up.
Uh, let's talk about the acting. Yeah. Um, and let's talk about the star of the film, yeah. the Topeka. This it's, is her best it's, performance. It's Topeka's film. I think this is her best performance. And I, because of two things. Because my favorite performance of hers up till now... I mean, she's had all great performances. She, ever, I've never seen her do anything bad yeah. as of yet. But my favorite thing was I'm Piku. Not, no, it was oh, Piku. Piku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. she was holding her own opposite Amitabh Bakchan and Irfan. Yeah, so yeah. it was like... Holy crap! Wow, go girl! Yeah, and I I agree with you. If someone were to ask me today, what's what do you think is the best performance? Because of the fact that she's pretty much on screen for the totality of the film, she's having to cover carry a lot of emotional weight, especially towards the end, and be honest about it. Yep. And there were a lot of things that I know that she was. I would love to talk to her mm. about how much of what she was using, and considering the quality of actress that she is. I can't imagine she didn't tap into her own personal things and she substituted it for the character. Mm. And when we see her having a panic attack, having anxiety, hands trembling, mm. that she was doing what great actresses do. She was simply being naked in front of the camera and sharing her most vulnerable self with us. Yeah. And I, so I agree with you. I think this, I think this is without question, the n number one reason to watch this is if you want to watch a great actress yeah. doing great work. Yeah, she did amazing. And then yep. the, the I, I, even though she was amazing, I think it's hard to upstage uh, the Deborah Dad. Nasser <laughs> the no, man just, can't. The man just comes on screen. No, but think about it. I mean, she's right there with him. Oh, yeah, no. I'm not Another saying, legend. Like, the, yeah. fact, the fact that, like, she did so amazing. And that the, the best scene in the entire thing is, I think, with her and him at the, at end. That, at the end. Absolutely. And, and I have a question to ask you was, about that. It was that. a phenomenal scene uh, between and the, and the whole kind of twist reveal uh, that I did not actually Love see coming the writing this, this time. Oh! Of, of, uh, I definitely did. There's a lot uh, I want to ask you about. Um, but, yeah, the fact that, that that whole twist of, of it was, it was... I there were a I'm couple not the, of twists. Yeah, there, were, there was quite a few twists. Yeah. Um, once again, spoilers. Um, when he was like, it was, I, it was, no, not he didn't say it, but when she found out that it was necessarily her mom and her cousin's dad that were having the affair, and that was, even though, I think they handed it delicately, because obviously you still don't know, like, Nisarid and Shab's relationship and her relationship, if, if he was, like, kind of, um, um, uh, Dupika's boyfriend at the time, kind of like almost Karen. neglectful, yeah, almost kind of a dis so you a distanced. Don't, obviously, you're not, you're not, uh, you don't know, explaining away the affair or anything right. like that. But obviously, I, I thought it was good. Of I didn't think they totally demonized her and like not not at all. But the fact that she had these questions, like, am I, am I like my mom? Oh, it's so it's, deep. It, it's it's an entire like you can write a, a thesis on and, on the the, the and the, that's the why the title of it is so good. It really is deep, and the use of the waves regularly is not to, yeah. supposed to talk about, which the trailer led us to believe, that this was about a tumultuous uh, affair, almost akin to a TV series that, that we've been in the middle of watching, it's been around a long time, called The Affair. Mm. Um, you, you think from the trailer that that's what you're going to be getting, and that's enough for you to jump in and, and see. But the depth of so many of the things, most especially the psychology behind what she's dealing with, and the ultimate message about the film that I think is, what are the things that make us who we are? from our past and how much of that is based on Child objective problems. reality or your subjective observation about them mm -hmm. and how much of it is based on truth. How many times are we dealing with things that we found out later it actually wasn't true but because we perceived it to be we lived in that truth. Mm -hmm. That's that's it's incredible a, in the a, writing. Yeah, it's absolutely phenomenal writing which I think like if you didn't really, like you didn't I think, just don't get why people just, couldn't like this movie. You didn't think about what they were the film was trying to say. You were just like, "Oh, she she, she cheated." Why is she the right, lead? Right, right. Oh, they had sex. I don't like, like that in my films. Uh, <laughs> I read I read a review that said the second half got us off the path. What? I'm like, well, if all you were thinking was this was going to be a movie about two people who fell in love and cheated and had to figure out their relationships, yeah, this movie is a lot deeper than that. Hence the title. Yeah, I just, I don't understand it. But yeah, that, that whole Nasser and Shah... He, he comes on screen, he brings, and he was so different in, in this as well, even though he like, was. they made him look older. He made him look older, and he carried himself as a man who was pretty fragile and wounded, both emotionally and physically. Mm -hmm. And he, he carried that really well. Yeah, and their whole dynamic, and then the scene that they shared together. And I love that The stuff you can tell scene. going on behind Nasserdin Shah's eyes. 
Like, <laughs> it's it's just, it's incredible. But uh, Sid, Sid Hart, I actually thought had the, the most complex role in the entire thing, even though Topeka, obviously, she had to carry most of the weight in terms of emotionally. Mm -hmm. He had a very complex role. Extremely complex role, and I really like the fact that he, at the outset, was what I thought and was concerned with was going to be just kind of flat and kind of there, which, what else are you supposed to do, Rick? That's what's in the script. That's what's in the character. He's supposed to be kind of, he, he, he's got, you know, got a poker face on most of the time. And then when the shit hits the fan, I loved him. It's there were so many moments in this where we were riveted mm -hmm. and then leaping forward going, what the heck? Yeah. Like <laughs> one of my favorite moments we're assuming you've all seen it when you're watching at this point in the reaction. One of my favorite moments, and Minnie called it, our landlady. She's sitting next to us, and she, they're on the boat, and he's on the boat with his fiance, And he says, uh, Minnie said, he's going to have to kill her. Mm -hmm. And right then, he goes, Poof, and pushes her off the boat. We're naive and innocent and ready to accept no, you everything. You didn't get that? No, we thought he really killed her. I knew it was happening. Yeah, no. Yeah. We thought he really killed her until it pulled back and was revealed yeah. that it was just a thought in his head. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought they did Loved that. Yeah, his, his whole character was so complex. Yeah, and very complex. Once again, if you didn't think about this film, you'd be like, I don't get why... why. He's a narcissist. He's, this is truly. This is a truly. A, <laughs> like this, this is a movie for people who think deeper than just surface. The guy is the definition of the of a, of, of a narcissist. Correct. Of somebody who it's all about them, and they will do everything. Like it'll seem like a normal person, will seem yep. like the most charming man in the world. Yep. But any time that they are their, their livelihood or their person or their whatever is at risk, they will do whatever it takes for number one. Exactly. Always. Whether it's hurting somebody, whether it's. Uh, I guess in this sense, since he would go to the length, because obviously he had a lot of circumstances, but financially, he had relationally, he had whatever, uh, legally, um, all this kind of stuff going on, but like, not like he's a definition of, like, we used to have a president this way, uh, <laughs> who was, I remember. Uh, so this character is like, he would do anything to keep himself at, in his position. But here's the thing, it's written and he portrays it and it's directed in such a way as to not make him like mm -hmm. our former president. Because oh, yeah. if it had been, you would have just hated him yeah. and wanted to see him die. And when he did, you would have been really, really happy. Oh, yeah. We were happy when he died, yeah. but it wasn't celebratory. We were happy that it wasn't so much that he died as much as it was he's not going to kill yeah. the Pika. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, so it's... it's Really uh, great job. I thought they did a really good job with the writing. I thought he did a really good job portraying that great character. Yep. Um, and uh, uh, the others as well. I thought Diria. Did, 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 yeah, um, yeah and his yeah, his role was really complex as well. He didn't get a lot of screen time, not as much as the, the others. Yeah. But the fact that his whole relationship with Topeka was similar to what we saw in Lunchbox, except he didn't cheat. Mm -hmm. But he was. It was, and it's a very real relationship that a lot of people fall into. Absolutely. Topeka stayed in a relationship that she wasn't really happy in for years, and right. a lot of people just stay. Right. Just and he, stay. And I didn't doubt he loved her. He yeah. just became neglectful. He came, and that was because he was really focused on something and lost focus of her and mm -hmm. it happens yeah it happens it's uh, obviously it's something that obviously Topeka finally broke right. it off right. and then he regretted that but obviously they, I'm glad they didn't get back together yeah um, because I was like it's just gonna happen again and so uh, but I thought you know this whole writing of it's this is not a happy film no like, but it's he, a, such a mature film it's, it's a very mature film. like and I love the the maturity of Nasirid and the dad when 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 he <clears throat> finds out that uh, that um, Zane was there and mm -hmm. he talks to her about it and he realizes that. He comes at it from a place of sage wisdom and experience. He doesn't come accusatory to her. Mm -hmm. He comes with, Zane was here last night. He just everything about the character was, I'm not gonna judge. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna find out what I can find out first. I'm gonna assume the best that I can. And I felt like the, just the writing and the acting and the directing, and let's talk about cinematography, <laughs> was just really intelligent and mature. You could tell from the from the trailer, the the cinematography that you were gonna get, and you definitely got it from the opening frame yeah. of this film. Yep. Uh, it's it was it, like I said, I think it's like almost Oscar worthy. There's uh, two moments cinematography wise that I, I that go ahead. Which one? were phenomenal to me. The first one was was it a freaking GoPro in the car when it was the the, the complete. Uh, 360 that was done when Zane and Topeka are in the car and the camera is looking out the windshield goes to him driving goes to the back seat and goes to her I said you can't fit a red camera or a 35 millimeter in that space in a car what did they do they probably cut a hole in the top 
but in between the seats? Yeah. You've seen those rigs, how they rig up cars. I have, but I haven't seen them do a 360 in the interior. I think that's what they did. Well, I, it was spectacular. I think they either have a car that didn't have a roof. It was spectacular. And they removed I was it. thinking about the space between the two of them. Well, uh, whatever they did. It might have been a little custom. It could have been custom. Whatever it, it was spectacular, as was one of my favorite shots from outside the window at night. It's a continual shot. Oh, and they... And that what you see, they, they chose to allow the reflection of the city to be in the window as they're slowly following Topeka from room to room. And not once do you see crew or camera reflected in the window as they're following, but you're seeing the cityscape reflected. Yeah. Great shot. Absolutely. The, yeah, the, the cinematography in this was uh, top notch. I'd have to keep it down so I remember it for the dummies, but this is... Um... It will definitely be in that consideration <laughs> come yeah. the end of the year. Great Obviously cinematography. Obviously, we don't know uh, what's going to come out or what we're going to watch yet. But, yeah, it was easily, easily in there. And Rajit, I thought, did a really good job, as always. He's Oh, um, yeah. The minute I saw him, I'm like, well, he works all the time. And, and so he's this director great. is actually, and we'll talk about the directing, he did a phenomenal job. He was the director of Kapoor and Sons, yeah. who we saw. Um, and I, I heard a, like a lot of people like this. This film's not on the level of Kapoor and Son. I think it's the opposite. I think this film far surpasses. Far surpasses. Kapoor even though I thought there were some really good things that happened in Kapoor and Son, I thought there were some good moments. And you could definitely tell he likes to um, do the, the the drama and all the kind of stuff. That one relational had, tensions. This one was strictly drama. That had a lot of comedy drama, um, and it was a more, for lack of a better word, Bollywood feel. Mm. A little bit. What uh, this did or no, that the, did? Oh yeah, that one for sure was definitely more of a, a stereotypical Indian cinema kind yeah. of feel. Um, but the, I thought he did a phenomenal job. I thought if, if the growth I see from Kapoor and Sons to this, that's a lot of growth. Uh, and and um, I'm mm -hmm. glad Amazon let him do what he wanted to do. And a credit to, to him and the, the writing team because the writing in this was especially act two, the whole second half. It went in a place and really great job with your trailer guys because you gave us enough to be interested. We would have been with Topeka and 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 uh, him anyway, but I did not see this story coming the way that it did. Mm. I was expecting more like the affair, a love story that goes wrong and they're hiding it and they reveal it and there's stuff. I also really liked the use of flashback with mm. her and her mom. It was brutal mm. to find out and I liked the reveal when we found out the truth about her mom mm. and what she saw and how that's impacting her and how repeatedly we'd see things about placement of her hand on a desk or something uh, to get into the psychology and the mind uh, of her character. Uh, I would like to know, because I said something at one point, and I'd like to know if I was right. Mm. The scene ends at the, toward the end of the film with Topeka and Sarah, and, and he says, because you're my daughter, Vita. Mm -hmm. And it goes down to their hands and it fades to black. Mm -hmm. And then it said two years later and I said, Corbin's going to hate that. I didn't like that part. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> I never. <laughs> you, I just, you would have loved it to just credits right I mean, there, right? I, End it there? Yeah. Yeah. Or, I mean, I'm fine with it ending the way it did because I actually didn't mind the end end part. I, I think it. Of, it helped of of what they did, but I just wish it wasn't like a a two year later thing. Right, and I was like, you could have done this easily, the same day or a different day from now. The, because Karen had to get a new girl. I get it, I get it, but yeah. I just I hate that stuff. I know, uh, I know you do. <laughs> it seems lazy to me. Um, but no, I actually liked the end part because they didn't spoon feed you. Like they ended it on the and another twist. Oh, another I, little twist. Uh, oh, you we we met you before, Alicia, right? And then. It cuts, and yeah. you presume that, well, how's your fiancé, Zane? Or, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever it was. And so that's what you just assume. And, and I like comes, that they didn't answer that question. And it comes right after the two girls. And I love that they did that, because the film is really about the sisters, not just the one. It's really about the two of them. Cousins. They're sisters, though. Are they? Yeah. She found out that was the whole thing. Oh, because yeah, there was an affair gotcha, that she had. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So they're really sisters, and they have just said to each other, can we forget the past and move on with a clean slate? Yes, we can. And then here comes the past right up in their face. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was great. Yeah, it's a, I, I agree. This film is, is, was really, really good, really well made, yeah. top notch uh, uh, in all aspects. I, I just I can't understand why, why people didn't enjoy it. Really don't. Because I, I saw some reviews. And they were like, they said fuck a lot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they, 
<laughs> they they had sex, and also, just really, you know, I thought it was subdued the sex that they. We they said showed. the very thing. We specifically said we felt they did a great job. This guys, the subject matter isn't for kids. <laughs> okay, kids are gonna see this and go. I said this to Andronimo point, but kids gonna watch this and go, uh, Dad. What's an ev what's a valuation? <laughs> no one's gonna know these things about company and what it means to have somebody need to take a second mortgage out on something and evaluate mm -hmm. your company so that you know whether you have six months of equity. Yeah. That's not for kids. And they did a good job of showing us intimacy that was adult without it going a little too far so that it was at the most, watch it with your kids going, up, oh, up, oh, oh, don't, yeah. don't, don't, and then it's over. So yeah, yeah, I feel like I, people like that didn't like it, like they just are uncomfortable around sex because it makes them feel uncomfortable. They uncomfortable around the word fuck because it makes them feel uncomfortable. Or like I, I can't I don't really, know. I can't really think of why. Like, like I, I just don't. And get there, it. there are people. I know people who are like that here. They they don't like foul you language. You can't just they call like it sex. a bad film because exactly. of it. Exactly. <laughs> at least you can say just this. Just say I'm a little bitch and I don't like the word fuck. <laughs> you at least can say this. I think it's a great movie. I personally don't like vulgarity in sex and films. That's fine. But to say the movie's bad because it has that, that's imposing your own particular worldview onto the film and basing its quality on that rather than its artistry. Yeah. Or, like, people are either um, on, on, because obviously a lot of people don't like to watch stuff about cheating. Because either, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's like an enjoyable thing, but like, <laughs> a lot of, like, either, one, they cheated and they don't like that right, being right, brought right, up because it makes them uncomfortable what they did right. or they were cheated on and that's trauma from their past. And right. I get that. I get it. I, it. It's fine. But once again, you can't call a film bad because it makes you uncomfortable. No. Just because you don't like watching certain stories being told doesn't mean it's a bad film and not worthy being told. And one of the other things about this kind of artistry, about the whole world of theater, whether it's on TV, stage, or movie screens, is that it's supposed to be showing us the human condition and the fact that we all share the same universal struggles with one another. And when you human. watch other people going through the struggles, you set, you have two things. One, lessons you can learn, and secondarily, the recognition that we're not alone and all of us is flawed and all of us is broken and we all respond not only differently, mm. but we all respond quite the same sometimes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's I don't a very get it. human story. Very human story. And I loved it. And Me I too. thought it was uh, very well made. Hats off to... Sha Shakun? Yeah, Shakun Batra, forgive us, Batra. sir, for mispronouncing and your Pika name. And Dupika and the entire crew of this film, um, I think you, you did a phenomenal job, and you should be very proud of what you did. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and Ranveer's post, giving her a kiss, he said something very eloquent about uh, her depth as an actress and the beauty of what she presented, and uh, I, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Absolutely. I actually saw his live the other day, and he was talking, talking about, about this. Her? Um, and he was like, when she, after he saw it, because they didn't, he, uh, she didn't tell him like this is the style of film and what was going on in the film while they were filming it. And so that he, was that like, he oh, he was like, P you didn't tell me like because she would just come home and be the happy and like he was like you were doing this. So he had every no day. idea the depth of what she was working. Mm -hmm. Man, I'd love to talk to her and yeah. both of them about Obviously. their process, man. Uh, so Topeka, if you're watching, we would love <laughs> to talk to you. Oh, Nasserdin Shah, sure, yeah, I know you're too. watching. Yes. <laughs>